Hello everybody and welcome to Girl Doomsday! She's just excited to be here at Hogwarts. School of witchcraft and wizardry and snotty Slytherin brat. No. I knew there was one over here. Alright, so. Potions class. Look at her just skipping, skipping to the next. This school, as fifth years, you will be required of both discipline and intellect. Sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a stylus when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Sorry, I'm over here messing with my catnap, trying to get it to burn right. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Say that you have permission to go into his office. 
He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Sounds Gareth like Weasley. a salesman. Ah, uh, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yep. Keep your potion. There we go. It's ready. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait. Get it! Again. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What? Again. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. On the race, a rare I was occurrence. Able to... And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwopper feather. This time. That'll be all. Uh oh. Uh oh. I shouldn't have taken it. For certain, you'd have helped. I'm glad I avoided trouble. Sharp certainly seemed upset with you. His bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic spirit. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. The only reason I was able to resist is because when I was a kid, growing up, I always ended up falling for that stuff, and I... Always end up getting in trouble. People oh, like to pretend that they want to be your friend when
Okay. So let's see. What's next? Okay, so she wants me to uh, roll, dodge by rolling ten times, cast incendio on enemies five times. Check my gear. Looks like I've got new gear. Is it good? Now, if you get frustrated with the fact that you feel like you're starting to look goofy, there's a solution to the goofishness. You hit the X instead of the A. You can customize your outfit to look like whatever you want. Regal school cloak. This is the traditional school robe. Alright, so I'll make it look like I'm not wearing a robe. Even though I am, it looks like I'm not. I still have all the benefits of the clothes that I'm wearing. There we go. I think she looks nice. There's Doom. It's going to save that look. Hey, thanks for joining. It's always nice to have somebody happen in my stream. I was just showing how to customize your appearance so it doesn't look like you're wearing a bunch of different goofy things. In case you missed it, I'll go over it one more time. My person is wearing these gloves, even though it looks like she's not. It looks like she's not. The outfit I'm actually wearing is this one, not the dress. I'm wearing a scarf. All of that, even the hat, see, that's the hat I'm wearing. You can see what I'm actually wearing from the pictures. And that adds up to this health, defense, and offense. But I don't have to look like Peeves the Bolter guys just because the good quality clothes with good defense, offense, and health perks look goofy and clownish. That doesn't mean I have to look goofy and clownish. I can look pretty as I walk around the castle in a pretty, pretty dress. And here I go. Here I go. I shall frolic. I've showed you running around, and this is how you travel quickly. Now, see, that's that's where I gotta go. Click on this little flag here. Now, you adjust the map. You see that's the closest 
uh, green flame to it. So we're going to hit the blue X. And that'll fast travel us right there. And we don't have to run through the whole castle. All right, I'll kick their butt in a pretty dress. <laughs> Let me adjust my spells first. So I need this spell. I got that one. I've got that one. Hmm. So that's all right. I guess I'm going to leave that one there. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be invisible dueling or even practicing with the dummy. So, first and foremost, we're going to practice with the dummy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Oh, I'm ready. Nice. Excellent fall. Got it. Good one. As you can see, up top it's telling you which spells to do. That basic cast is an offensive spell. Impressive That's what the little star was. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, better beware. All right, so next up, hello, Lucan. Is the final round? We're gonna fight. One's ready. Big match today. I'm gonna it all comes somebody. down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to Promise win I'm all. not dying. Ready for it's a just my glory. catnip. <clears throat> um. I certainly am. I'll kick your ass. Tree. That's the spirit. Yeah, it'll be a real victory, but it won't be yours. You can't hurt me, you can't touch me. Boom! You can't touch me, you can't touch me, you can't get me! You can't get me! Keep away! Boom! Yeah? Are you gonna get me? Are you gonna try to get me? Are you gonna try to get me? Come on, try. Try it. Try it. Come on. Come on, try it. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Come on. Come on, try it again. Come on. Come on. Aim at me, motherfucker. Come on. Come get me. Come on. Nana -na -na boot. Wait, you can't get me. You can't get me. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> what a <victory laughs> the tournament! I danced. This champion. Now to the victor goes. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Oh, yeah. Speaking of herbology, let me go pick my plants. Mm, let's see. Over here. Nope. Let's check here. Yep. There we go. All right. Remember, blue X. Blue X is to travel, because otherwise you're just uh, setting a waypoint uh, that'll show on the map the uh what are you up to quickest now? way to get to there kind of like a little magical gps uh, uh, um so i want to go check on my pretty 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 thank you let's see any other plants anything else that i can pick oh hello my favorite teacher Herbology is my favorite. Oh. Uh, that's that. Okay, so 10 minutes and that'll be ready again. So, I might go. I have to go on a wander anyways because the one girl says she wants me to meet her out in town. Here. That's where she wants to meet me, is down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And we're going to go on a little adventure. Look at that. Magical GPS in real time. You know, I was reading a couple of years ago about smart windshields and... I found online that uh, Toyota actions on the windshield as if they're on the road, kind of like this magical GPS right here. It sounds Snacks and coffees and twiddle thumb things and all kinds of stuff. You know, people are gonna distract themselves if they want to be distracted. But a, a GPS that's built into your windshield, I think that's advantageous. Although, you know, a, a crack in the windshield would probably a glitch on your windshield would be awful. And if they decided to
gallivant around the castle. It's a great way to find out. Boom! Look at how they light up. So pretty, pretty, pretty. I like how this is similar to Skyrim, but I also like that it's not just similar to Skyrim. It also reminds me of Fable because the different choices you make have different repercussions. People see you differently. People treat you differently based on what you said and what you did. Oh, it's too far away. I don't know if you've ever played the Fable series, but uh, you have moral repercussions based on the choices in Fable. Ooh. All right, so recap on the clothes. Here we go. Oh, I'm not a high enough level yet. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm almost there, but not quite. So obviously I'm off the trail, right? I'm just exploring as I go. I like to explore as I go. You discover a lot of new things that way in this game. In, in any game, actually. And on... So just like Skyrim, you've got that free roam aspect. I've got the directions for the mission that I have in mind. I'm on the way to do it, but on the way. Ooh, watch this. When you come across these, use that, see the yellow feather? That's Levioso. If you actually read the books or watch the movies in Harry Potter, this only spell that you see is Wingardium Leviosa, which is a spell that you do learn in this game, but Levioso just lifts it up and holds it up, right? Uh, Wingardium Leviosa is a controlled levitation. Wingardium Leviosa. This is just Levioso. Levioso. All right, so every time you see those pages floating around, yeah. Yep, that's an owl, okay. Just making sure it's not another page. Is it? Um, when I really just want to play. So I've gotten a lot farther in my other one. I'm uh, playing on my boyfriend's account. Thrones fans know who Jon Snow is. 
Yes, he does look like Jon Snow. <laughs> Just a second, guys. Yep, hop up. My dog wants to cuddle with me while I play. Charlo, say hello. Say hi. person that I can interact with. my mic wasn't on. I think what's even more fucked up though is uh <laughs> Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. We're gonna do this real quick. Might you be the one to help me? The girl I'm going to see is right over there, but I'm gonna do this real quick first. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Now, uh, if you did want me to continue whatever I was just talking about, throw up in the chat.
there's stuff out here. Your slots are full. So whatever There it is. I should let Grace know that I found What's her family this? astrally. Let's go back. Now, before I actually go do this mission, uh, since now I know there's like a few things out here that are gear, uh, I'm going to return this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Hogsmeade real quick and I'm going to sell some shiznit. So, uh, <laughs> Bear with me. There is a sea monster out there in the water. Can you see that? A red arrow. That's a monster. That's a monster. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. So, like, I get that shit, and then we're gonna go meet up with our buddy that's over there by the dock. So, first things first. Um, they're not open. Might as well just go here. You Remember, you um, you, the, if you click on the thing, it turns purple. That's it's giving you a trail like I followed to find my buddy out there. Um, I, honestly, it bothers me sometimes that I forget and I slip up and I hit the wrong thing. And if you are, you know, a viewer of mine, you're probably can tell that I'm a, I'm a little bit hard on myself. Um, Come on in. Healing my potions of critic. a speciality <laughs> here. Should Worthless. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Making some money and I'm getting rid of all my weak stuff. You can't sell the clothes that are. Don't judge me. I hope me. to see you again. But this is this is when you fuck up like this. This this is this is a technique. Hold on. I think my mom, my mother-in-law might be here. Hold on.
Nope. That was not intended for me at all. Heard someone out and said honking, and I remembered uh, my boyfriend's mom is supposed to be bringing. food by. There's like this this good deal. She was gonna get some stuff for us and uh, I bring it over. So. Cool. So hopefully did I not hopefully this brought me here to before I sold all my stuff. Let me try this again. Let me try the save before that. So. Okay. Okay, cool. See, there is a solution. See that that red that red thing? That fish. Fish. Whatever that is. That thing wants to hurt me. It wants to cause me bodily injury. Oh. On it. Keep an she's eye ripped all the arms and legs off. A diver so it's just a head and a torso with no fluff inside. Down there. So I call it a carcass. Cause Thank it's, you again. It's kind of a carcass. And I do hope you keep diving. Kind of a carcass. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. It kind of is a carcass. It is. It is kind of a carcass. All right. Cool. So level ten. That. One gear thing, whatever it was, is unlocked. Is it gloves? Yes. Okay. So, and remember, I can look like I'm not wearing nothing. Alright, so. One. Let's go straight to the map. And we're gonna go to Hogsmeade, we're gonna sell this stuff, we're gonna go back to the lake, and we're gonna go get some new stuff. It's shopping! Yes! So hello, my one single viewer. How are you doing? Are you friend or foe? I've always said that travel broadens the... What can I do for you today? We're gonna sell some shit. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Selling some shit. I'm selling. Selling some shit. You can also make money by kicking some booty. Kick some butt and you make some money. Hello. Alright, so. Potion recipes are pretty expensive. Ingredients. And here's the potions.
Alright. Standing behind a till, counting knuts and sickles, considered work. I had plenty of opportunity to pursue anything I wanted. Good brain. That's what the teachers would say. Hmm. They just standing around talking shit. I'm slightly intrigued by their conversation. What I'd like to know is, is there argument that it's not work so they shouldn't be getting paid? Or is there argument that it's not work so they shouldn't be complaining about having to do it for so long? Or are they saying... Actually, it might have been a world map. Where that? Where was? Was that? Is that where it was? No. No, it was over here. It's definitely on the way there. So I guess Hogwarts map is the right way to go. sworn that there was a green flame right by where I was. Stupid. Okay, here we go. I did it again. Hold on. Full tilt. Blah, 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 blah. Don't pick on me. 
not worth it. Nobody benefits from that. Looks intriguing. Run! You can't catch me! I am the gingerbread man! Meow! Meow! Oh yeah! Here I go! Let's go give me some shit! Go get me some shit! There's stuff out here in the lake. Yes, there's stuff out here in the lake. Where was that stuff? Are you telling me that that stuff is all gone? Any of it. swam all the way out there and that stuff is gone. <laughs> Seriously though. It's redonkulous. It's absolutely redonkulous. Who deemed this appropriate? Who decided that that was okay? Oh really? I want to know. Oh, I'm putting in her face. Probably a good idea to randomize where stuff pops up. <laughs> 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 It's frustrating because I wanted to come back and get that stuff. See how fucking far I swim out there, though? Serious. Seriously, though. I'm so
would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attack. Goblin kind treated by wizards as equals. Bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings. I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. Wonder who lives here. At Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened. Been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that tr Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. <clears throat> Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's Ooh. going on here? Hurry up and help this 
lady. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. <laughs> Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! I'm about to whoop He's these guys' home. butts. Light go out of your eyes. Yeah. I don't know where to hide. We can hold them off. I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this student over my dead body. That's a good one. quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Um, 
such a restricted captive. It, it involves my catnip. Just give me a minute. I'm taking something that was one thing and breaking it down into something else that it technically already was, but I'm making it easier to use into a easily, easily usable utensil so I can easily use it with the utensil and the, and, and, and a couple of, a couple of utensils to assist with it. You may hear some strange sounds, which might sound to you as if I'm dying. I promise you I'm not dying. That would mean that there is a god. There is no god. Therefore, I will not die right now. <coughs> I'm not dying. I promise. I'm not dead. So stupid. I'm just sitting here talking to the one person. Hello, my one person who's watching me, my over an hour long stream while I fumble around, play this game, talk shit, and do the. <laughs> Hello, friend. It's nice to have you here. I'm not sure who you are, but I appreciate. And that's enough. Especially if things, if you were like me and, and things that are easy for most people are difficult for you. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Oh, that's nice. I have the mellow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Of Place the mallow sweet on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? That's what I should do. The flames make the fire sink. That's what you should do. Gotta do it fast, though. 
You've got to do them all fast enough that they don't go out. Some of them are, are much bigger, so they're farther apart, and it's really easy to not be able to get them the first time around. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Trials of Merlin are and awesome. I like them. Here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return. To some the of them are simple. Of some of them books. are really confusing. Some of them are hard, some of them are easy. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. What? That got my attention. Newly headless Nick is looking for me. I'm gonna go here. Take a shortcut. Newly headless Nick is looking. Oh, my other profile uh, that I've been playing this with, I am a Ravenclaw, so I'm going to have to get used to going to the Gryffindor common room instead of the Ravenclaw. Wait, how do you know about the book, and that it's missing pages? Pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. What's funny is that uh, Nearly Headless Nick was mm, denied entry to the Headless Hunt because he's not entirely yeah, beheaded. It's, it's nothing really. I'd but be It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form the headless cannot heart. carry it. And nearly headless neck. But Peeves 
who was never beheaded because now, he was never a person, a living beef, person, was given access to the head of the There's a disgusting smell. Oh, I must be getting close. Rebellion. Yep. This is the house elves' living quarters. <clears throat> They do the laundry and the cleaning and... <gasps> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to break your dishes! Aha! Okay, let me, let me stop. Oh, I don't, I don't want them to get into trouble. I don't want to hurt their fifis. I'm mm, sorry I beef. broke your dishes, but I just got carried away. Me, but can you point me to the rubbish? None such was just about to dispose of today's collection. It's towards the back. Help yourself, I suppose. Oh, that's what that pile is? Oh, it's gross, yeah. Asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing I think that she lifts likes students. Finky spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five <laughs> principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. So they make one perfect thing, and then they multiply it in the thousands? So that's how they get such delicious looking food? They just, they just, they just multiply the one perfect little thing. If you only had to roast one turkey instead of... has all 
always been a favourite. But the newfangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. You're making delicious. The headmaster's house elf Scrope sometimes sneaks into the kitchen late at night to peel for a morsel. We look the other way. Hello, chicken. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. Well, that's nice to know. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Think he sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Think he. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Pod. Step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cr But a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. This is freaking awesome. I had no experiences with this in my other game because it was a Ravenclaw. I guess if you're a Gryffindor, they approach you about your house ghost. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's rich. Eh? Why? Here he is.
facts are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. <clears throat> and yet... And yet... They let Peeves in. At least at some point they let Peeves in. How do ghosts whip their heads while away the afterlife? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Is this Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. <coughs> what say you? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw... Is it over yet? Are we still going? Pavilion. I've never seen a place like that. How delightful. Pavilion. I've gotten him three times already? Jesus Christ. Rebellion. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. You might be some easier than it's supposed to be. I bet I would be the one to clean up this mess. Revelia. Well, <laughs> of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. You're very griping about not having a wand. <laughs> not too bad for a mortal. Now, <clears throat> say what you need to say. To not a member of the Headless Hunt? No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. 
I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank Reunited with my body first, but Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. All right, so I do need to stop here because my boyfriend did come home. And I want to spend some time with him, as I have spent lots of time with you. I want to thank you all for being here for another Let's Play with Doom. Don't forget to follow KT Strange on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Snapchat, Instagram, and, of course, YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, but most definitely, watch. And remember... We're all doomed.